Hi everyone, I'm Chris and this video is going to be about this bit of kit here. This is the mad little replica of the Daniel Defence rail integration system for the L85A2, Airsoft L85A2 or SA80, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I put up a, uh, a video of, of me uh, firing my ICS rifle a little while back and one of the big questions I had since then, how do you put the rail on, where do you get the rail system from, you know, uh, how does it attach all this stuff. So I thought I'd actually uh, get around to showing you guys how to do that. As you can see on the table here, I've just done a basic breakdown of it, it's actually been all constructed for a while so I've not fully taken it apart and I don't actually have some of the original parts uh, here anymore so I'll do my best to show you and I think it, it should be clear enough and we'll uh, work way through it. So I'm going to move the camera now, get a bit of a closer view on the parts and we'll go through how you attach this, uh, attach this new handguard onto your rifle. Right, so we've got the rifle, just done a basic breakdown, got the main body, gearbox still inside, lower TMH, the actual handguard itself, got the, uh, the butt pad here, um, that doesn't obviously, that's a, a integral part of the lower TMH, or the real thing, but on the ICS it comes off separately. Now, to start with, what do we need to actually buy if we want to fit this handguard onto our airsoft replica of the L85 rifle? You're going to need the handguard itself, of course. Um, when, you want, when it comes to picking that up, um, just check your usual, go through your usual internet favourites of whichever airsoft shops you usually, you usually uh, frequent. Um, if they don't have it, go to the Hong Kong stores, the big ones like WGC Shop. Uh, UN company, eHobby Asia, all those big places, they're going to have these sort of things in stock. The other thing you're going to need, now when you buy the, the rail itself, it will come with adapters for a couple of the different airsoft rifles out there. Um, I think it comes with the one for the WE and possibly one for the G&G. &G. Um, you, you, you can fit this handguard to pretty much all the, the L85s or the replicas of the L85 that there are for, for airsoft but it does not come with the adapter kit for the ICS so what you're going to need is the ICS adapter and you can see that that is this part just here I've already fitted it I'll try to bring that close, a bit close to the camera just here it's just this little block it's got that screw thread it's uh, screwed into the receiver now on, uh, as stock the rifle will just have a piece of green plastic here when you take off the handguard it's very simple to swap out the adapter, all you, all you do is undo two little cross-head screws, screw this adapter on, this is the main securing piece for the actual handguard when it's fitted. So if, you, if, you've, got, um, if you've got a WE rifle or a G, G Army Armament, Ares, Star, they're the same. Basically, when you're looking at the rail on the website that you're going to buy it from, check which adapters are included. If it doesn't include the one for the rifle you have, then look at the accessories section of that website, or the parts or whatever, or related parts with the handguard, depending on which website, and they should have that, uh, that adapter block just there. So as I say, fitting that is easy. You unscrew the green plastic piece that was there to start with, just two quick screws, screw in the, the new adapter uh, little piece there, and to be honest, that's pretty much most of the work already done. All you need to do then is, uh, is take your rail. You have um, pop open the gas parts cover like so. You do need to remove the front sling hook mount, and this this screw uh, should come with the actual rail itself or with the adapter. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but that with the parts you buy, you, you'll have this screw. Because the ICS handguard doesn't attach to the rifle in the same way the real one does. It has a sort of a quick release system around here, whereas the real one bolts straight through the gas block, front sight mounting block, which you want to call it. So you've got your adapter fitted, gas parts cover is open. All you do is carefully slide Moving your wiring out of the way. Slide the rail into place. Now it gets a little fiddly near the end here. Be 
do have to work with it a little bit. And as always, when you're demonstrating something, it never does go quite well. But ah, there we go. And when you when you you'll know when it slides on correctly because it it fits really smoothly. So now it's slid into place. You can close your uh, careful. You can close your gas pass cover. At this point, you want to attach this is this little short stubby screw just here. This is your main piece of hardware that can actually secure the rail to the rifle. So you just need a flat edge screwdriver and to not wear gloves when you actually do it for real because it makes it ten times more fiddly. And screw that into place, just nip it up. And at that point, the rail is actually really, really solid. Incredibly solid on, onto the, the main body. If you want to attach a sling, of course, and you actually want your rifle to look the way it should, once you spin it around, drop your front sling hook point into the place it goes. Put this screw through here. For the because obviously, what can happen is what just happened there the gearbox falls out. You don't want that, so do keep an eye on that. A good tip, actually, if the gearbox does fall out on you, put the butt pad on using just the rear TMH pin, just like that, and the gearbox can't fall out on you. So, there's our attachment screw for the front sling hook. actual front sling hook itself goes in. A little bit of a juggling act with this, but once you got it down, you've sorted, you're never really going to have to take it off again. Screw that on. Don't need to white knuckle it, snip it up. And what this does is actually it tightens, tightens the rail around the gas block even more, so it's Totally rigid. There's absolutely zero, zero movement. A lot of people, a lot of people, they do reviews and say, "Oh, this hangar is really solid." Well, this one, this is the definition of solid. This is not moving anywhere at all. And that is basically it. That is your rail mounted, and you're free to throw whatever you want on there. Um, in terms of a, a battery solution, because the, the battery does go inside this hangar, all I do is I have a, an 800 milliamp little block lipo. Um, you just put it in inside this bottom section here, then slide the rail on, and then you've got your uh, actual connector wires for the gun up here where the gas parts would be. You feed feed the connector wire for the battery up here, up the side of the barrel, and you just connect that up. And there, and there you go, and you'll, you'll be you'll be up and running. Obviously, to complete the process, pop out the rear TMH pin. We drop on the actual lower TMH. And there we go, slot that into place. Push the pins through. Or again. on the butt pad. Like so. It'll be more eloquent when you do it for real, I promise you, because trying to do this in the right space for the camera angle is a, uh, a pain in the ass. Don't put it down on the cocking handle. And there you have it. That is your Mad Bull wrist fitted to an ICS L85A2. Absolutely, solidly. Um, it's a really nice hand, I have to say. I don't like the, the rails that Madwell makes for, for AR-15s, but, but this, this one I'm quite happy with. Um, well, one thing, see this is quite a good example actually, one thing you want to look out for, the lower TMH has these little wings just here, 
I'm going to try and bring that bit closer to the camera so you can see. Just this little piece here, that should be inside the main body. So it's actually something to look out for. And this is why my lower TMH pin or front TMH pin is, is actually falling out right now because the, the TMH isn't fitting into the body correctly. So if that does happen, just, uh, just take off the TMH and pay, out, pay attention to this, this area of it just up, up the front here where the trigger is and the trigger guard pay attention to that when you're putting the rifle back together but yeah I, think, uh, you know, I will uh, now go ahead and fix that and uh, if you've got any questions about about the build guys or um, you're not sure exactly on anything um, do ask uh, ho hopefully that was useful hopefully you now understand how how to fit the rail I've probably made it look a lot more complicated than it actually is. But I promise you it's really quite an easy process. So uh, cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.